Dear learners, welcome to today's story, The Pied Piper of Hamelin. And in Bangla, we call it Hamelin Bashiwala. So Bashiwala is Pied Piper and Hamelin is this much. So Hamelin and this A and this raw makes it air. So Hamelin air. Air means off. So this is off. Okay. So Hamelin air bashiwala is the pipe piper of Hamelin. And we do not use the article that much in Bangla. Only when we want to specify something, then we need the article. Otherwise, we don't need it that much. Uh, so we are going to read the story. This is the book that we are going to read the story from. And here it says Hemliner Bashiwala. I don't know why they have picked up this pronunciation because in Bangla, Hamelin is more common. So I'm going to say Hamelin again and again. Um, and we must thank World of Children's Books Limited because they have published this book for us. So we are going to start reading. Hamelin Akta Chotto Shahur Addin Hotat Kure Hajar Hajar Idur Shahure Eshe Hajit Holo Idur Hulu Chilo Bhoyano Himstro Sharakon Kichir Michir Kore Jikane J Kabar Pai Nimishe Shabar Kore কয়েক দিনের মধ্যে শহরের লোকদের খাবারে টান পড়ল তারা সবাই মিলে গেল শহরের মেয়রের কাছে মেয়র ঘোষণা করলেন যে ব্যক্তি শহর থেকে সব ইঁদুর তাড়াতে পারবে সে পুরস্কার পাবে এক হাজার সোনার মোহর কিন্তু কেউই শহর থেকে ইঁদুর তাড়াতে পারল না এমনি সময় হঠাৎ একদিন জবরজং পোশাক পরা এক লোক এসে হাজির হল এই শহরে লোকটি সরাসরি মেয়রকে গিয়ে বলল আমি একজন বাসীওয়ালা আমি এই শহরে সব ইঁদুর পুরস্কার দেব এক হাজার সোনার মোহর বাসিওয়ালা রাস্তায় নেমে এলো তারপর বাসি বাজাতে লাগ বাসির সুর শুনে শহরের সব বাসা বাড়ি আর অলিগলি থেকে হাজার হাজার ইঁদুর বেরিয়ে আসতে লাগল ইঁদুরেরা নাচতে নাচতে বাসিওয়ালার পেছনে পেছনে ছুটতে থাকল বাসিওয়ালা নদীর ধারে এসে বাঁশি বাজাতে বাজাতে একটা নৌকায় উঠল ইঁদুরগুলো বাঁশিওয়ালার পেছন পেছন যাবার জন্য নদীতে ঝাঁপ দিল নদীর ঢেউ ইঁদুরগুলোকে ভাসিয়ে নিয়ে গেল বাঁশিওয়ালার তীরে উঠে সোজা চলে গেল মেয়রের কাছে তার পুরস্কার নিতে বাসিওয়ালাকে দেখে মেয়র বললেন ইঁদুরগুলো তো এমনি এমনি চলে গেছে তোমাকে কোনো পুরস্কার দেওয়া হবে না তুমি এখান থেকে যেতে পারো এ কথা শুনে বাসিওয়ালা 
ভীষণ রেগে গেল মেয়রকে বলল তুমি যে কথা দিয়ে কথা রাখলে না এজন্য একদিন তোমাকে অনেক দুঃখ পেতে হবে বাসিওয়ালা রাস্তায় নেমে বাঁশিতে এক অদ্ভুত সুর তুলে বাজাতে লাগল বাঁশির সুর শুনে হ্যামেলিনের শিশুরা ঘর ছেড়ে দৌড়ে এলো বাঁশিওয়ালার কাছে তারা বাঁশির সুরে সুরে নাচতে লাগলো গাইতে লাগলো হাসতে লাগলো তারপর বাঁশিওয়ালার পিছু পিছু চলে গেল হ্যামেলিনের মা বাবারা দিনের পর দিন তাদের শিশুদের জন্য অপেক্ষা করতে থাকল কিন্তু শিশুরা আর কোনো দিন ফিরে এলো না ওকে সো হিয়ার আর আ ফিউ ওয়ার্ডস ফ্রম দ্য ফেরি টেল উই হ্যাভ জাস্ট রেড সো আই হ্যাভ পিকড আপ দিস ফোর ওয়ার্ডস হিয়ার আই হ্যাভ আ ফিউ মোর ওয়ার্ডস উইল কভার দোজ লেটার বাট দ্য ফার্স্ট ওয়ান হিয়ার ইজ ছোট্ট দিস ইজ হাউ ইউ আর সাপোজ টু প্রোনাউন্স ইট ছোট্ট মিনস লিটল সো দিস হ্যাজ আ সিনোনিম and i'm going to write it here the other one is choto choto also means so you can see there is one t right so this is this much this is cha sound and then this sign is the o choto uh someone can ask me that hey shama you have already said that all bengali letters uh have o in so why am i using this extra sign like this right you can say that um if i don't use this sign then i will have to pronounce it as choto it's not choto it will have to be choto so that's why i'm adding this so if i add this instead of choto it will be choto okay so this is this this much this sound cha and this sign is making it cho so all together cho and then this is the palatal ta and it has the built in o ending with it choto so someone can ask again hey um you said most of the time the consonant at the end loses its o ending so i said most of the time i haven't said all the time so this is one of those um uh, examples where you will see the last letter is uh, maintaining its o ending so this is choto okay so this is one word choto which means the same little young but sometimes <clears throat> if someone is really little very young at that time we add extra t with it so double t and we will have to pronounce it as choto okay choto that means very little so the same word it's just little and chotto is very little so here here it is just one ta and here you are saying seeing this extra thing here so if i just add this extra thing that means this is another ta look uh, it looks really strange that this is just a small thing you are adding and this is a uh, one whole letter but yes this is one whole letter this is another ta so this sign indicates that this is double ta and this sign is uh, seen only with this ta no words i can't remember that i have seen this uh, anywhere else so 
दिस साइन मेक्स दिस टॉप डबल ओके छोटो ईदूर सो दिस साइन हियर इज द मार्क ऑफ नेजलाइजेशन सो इफ आई डोंट यूज इट देन आई विल जस्ट से ईदूर बट इफ आई एड दिस देन आई विल से ईदूर सो टू इंडिकेट दिस नेजलाइजेशन आई हैव यूज दिस एन here because n is a nasal sound but you can't say indur in some dialects in bangladesh some people say indur uh, which is not used in the standard bangla in the standard bangla this is just a slight nasalization and you will have to say indur but local people in some areas they might say indur which means mouse okay hingsro this is ha and then the e sign and then this is the ong sign and this letter is sha so this much here so this ro sign how will i find it here so this means this is a ra and there is no vowel in between because this is a consonant cluster so s and r are joined together so this is how you are supposed to do it and you are using the built in o sound at the end that's why it is hing sro okay ferocious shara khon shara means all shara khon means all the time and uh, this is the combined letter i wanted to teach you you have already uh, seen it in one of my videos i have made uh, <clears throat> an entire video just on this letter so i'll give you the link here but i'm just explaining it briefly in terms of sound this is how you are supposed to pronounce it in terms of sound okay but if so so ka and kha together and this will be like this but if you uh, look at this uh, letter from a linguistic point of view then actually this is <coughs> this is it okay but uh, the interesting thing is in hindi this is the same letter you will find it in hindi and bangla uh, in hindi they pronounce it as ka and sha so aksha this is how they will pronounce it but in bangla we pronounce it as akha okay uh, so that's why after saying shara i'm saying shara khan so if you find this letter in the middle of your word then it will be pronounced as double so akha but if this is the first word so i'm just taking it here khan means time if you find khan as the word then it will be khan it's not akhan because this is the first letter here so you are pronounce it as khan but when you are adding another thing then this letter is coming in the middle right so this is a middle word mi middle letter so then you are pronouncing it as akhan akhan right because there is shara 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 khan <clears throat> i hope this is clear by now that 
if this letter appears in the middle then it is uh, pronounced as a double combined letter of kha but if it, uh, it appears as the first letter of a word then it is just a regular kha sound like this kha regular kha so as a first letter it's a regular kha as a middle letter it's a kha then the fourth word is bekti which means person so sometimes this is a confusing um, sign in bangla this one this wave sometimes it can be pronounced as as a not ya though it's like a a as in hat a sound as in hat right so it can be pronounced as like that but here it is pronounced as a so this is a like um bed sometimes this sound can be pronounced as a as in bed okay so yeah those are the four words there are some more okay so here are four more words the first one is adbhut adbhut means strange so this da is the dental da and then bha so a and then this much this much is this and then this thing here at the bottom this is the u sound here and then this ta is dental ta dental ta okay mm. so let me rewrite this so that it looks clear to you so this thing here is the u and this dental da and bha is this much okay and ta so altogether adbhut which means a strange bashi is flute i have already explained this nasalization thing to you uh, without this it will be just bashi but with this it will be bashi and bashi is flute bashi wala so you probably guessed it bashi wala is pipe piper so the one who plays the flute so we have the same uh, word for this for us this is just the flute okay this pipe is also flute uh, we use bashi for that puroshkar puroshkar this is the paw so this one paw the paw consonant bangla paw and then this is the u sound so now it is so this is u pu now ra this is the ra sound and the built in o is being used here so puro and this consonant cluster you need to know it i have explained it in the previous video as well but let me write it again so sha and ka ka together it is uh, it looks like this so it depends sometimes in some words it can be uh, pronounced as shka it can, uh, this sha can be pronounced as sha or it can be this as well so it could be the same thing but it might be pronounced at, as a um, sko like if i write this if i write this 
this is school same here so when it is uh, being found in puroshkar i am say writing it as sha and ka but when i am writing it i think i should this is a school but i will write it as phonetically so for this sha this sa and then for ka mm, this and then for this u sound this school okay school if you think that this is a long u then okay i can do this school okay so that means uh, this thing is equal to this but the look of it varies sometimes it looks like this and it can look like this as well it's the same thing so this upper portion sometimes this is the shortened form it's just the font difference otherwise it's the same thing and it can be pronounced as this or uh yeah sometimes it's as sk sometimes as shk so yeah that's it uh, today i think we have learned eight words and a few combined letters so that's today's story i will see you in the next lesson till then bye